Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing off um, hand plane output for Unity. And for this test I'm going to be using the Marmoset Sky Shop shaders. And before I get started, I also I wanted to show what the model looked like without a normal map. So this is an normal map, you can see the topology, and um, how much smoothing there's going on, uh, so how much work the normal map actually has to be doing. Um, and then also I wanted to show uh, how to set up a Unity model to render normal maps correctly. So one small bug with Unity is um, even when it's set to import and calculate, this grayed out slider for smoothing angle actually still has an effect. So you want it set at 180 and you want it set at import calculate and it will default to uh, something like 60 degrees. So whenever you have a model you need to have shade correctly, you need to make sure that you adjust this all the way out and then reset these settings. Um, okay, so then if I load up the shader, we'll start with the uh, Unity normal map. And the sampling's Unity output. It looks really good. There's some really subtle uh, gradients across these surfaces, but um, it's pretty darn good. And then as a comparison, I can load in X normal maps. See, that looks worse. Still pretty good, but there's some more shading errors here, and the shading errors on top are worse. I can undo to flip back and forth. And now the ones that are going to look really bad. So uh, Maya 2012. And this is uh, just Maya with unweighted normal set. That's even worse. Um, Maya 2013. That's really bad, and this is with angle and area weighted normals, which is why this looks so bad, because Unity is not expecting to have normals weighted like that. And then this is 3ds Max with the channel flipped, so the channels are lined up correctly. And that's also pretty bad. So again, here is the Unity map. Um, and lastly, if you're a Unity Pro user and you have access to deferred rendering pipeline, uh, you can see that when you switch into deferred shading, it's um, switched over to being 100% perfect. There's no shitting errors at all. So we're actually looking into what causes the shitting errors that do remain in the uh, forward rendering mode. And if we can, we'd like to put together a Unity package that um, brings this quality level uh, to Unity in uh, forward mode. So there's forward, and there's deferred. <laughs> 